Dear Spike. Dear Oprah. Dear Stevie, your music has guided me through the most difficult moments of my life. There's a line from In the Heights that says, wherever we go, we rep our people. <sighs> because of you, wherever my life takes me, I will always represent my people. Thank you, Dulce. Thank you. I want to start off by saying thank you for giving us something that we really need right now, and that is inspiration. So thank you for getting us, dear. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you for saying so. How did you pitch uh, your subjects? And I know I sound like I'm talking to the Queen of England, <laughs> but when, when you go and you talk to Big Bird even in this series, um, how, do you, how, do you pres- how do you go to them and say, hey, I've got this idea. Uh, are you in on this? Tell, t- walk me through the pitch. Well, the pitch is uh, we'd like to tell your story through the eyes of those whose work, uh, those whose lives have been touched by your work. And uh, I think that's something that people really respond to. What surprised you the most about everybody that you talked to? Talking about, uh, again, Stevie Wonder, uh, Jane Goodall, which I love that that episode. Um, what surprised you the most as you worked with each of these uh, celebrities? I was... Uh, deeply moved and surprised by how deeply moved they were uh, by the letters they had received and by hearing these stories. And I was reminded yet again of something I've I've seen a, a lot of, which is the reason people do the work that they do is in large part because of the impact it has on other people. And that is their source of greatest pride even when they are richly rewarded by fame and fortune. What what matters as much as that fame and fortune is, as Maya Angelou says, the lives they've touched. Dear Spike. Dear Lynn. Dear Stevie. Dear Oprah. Dear Gloria. Dear Big Bird. Dear Jane. Dear Allie. Dear Yara. Dear Misty. Your influence on me changed the course of my life. Dear Gloria. Dear Jane. Dear Misty. Dear Steve.